Hi guys, welcome back to Software Here Deck. In today's video, I will show you how you can create a conversational form like this in your WordPress website using Fluent Forms. I have created this using Fluent Forms Pro, but I will show you how you can create a similar looking conversational form in your WordPress website using Fluent Forms basic version. So let's get into it and log into your WordPress dashboard. So to create a conversational form, first you need to log into the dashboard. Now go to plugins and click on add new. In the search bar, search Fluent Forms. Here you can see Fluent Forms. Now click install and activate. I have already installed it. So I will go to install plugins. Here you can see I have two Fluent Forms. One is the basic version that I have downloaded from WordPress and this is the pro version that I have purchased. Now to create a conversational form, here you can see the Fluent Forms Pro tab. Click on it. Now here you can see I have these two demo forms and I have created a conversational form. Now I will click on add a new form. Now here you can see different form templates. Here you can see a conversational form. Now keep in mind that you can find this conversational form even if you have only free version. Just you have some limitations on some elements that you can only use on pro version. So click on create form. Now you can see a default form was created. Now keep in mind that this file upload element phone or mobile field and custom HTML was only available in pro version. Now you can use this form as a conversational form. Now I will preview it. You can see it will look like that. And you can add like that. Now go back to your editor. I will delete all of this and create this form from scratch. Now first of all, I will add a simple text element. Now click on it and you can change the label. I will add name and in placeholder, I will again add name. I will make it required and here this field is required and here you have a error message now i will go back to input fields and i will drag email address click on it and here you can change the label i will make it your email and your email address i will make it required and validate email you should enable both now I will go back to input fields and I will add a multiple choice. Here I will add a question. Are you a developer? In placeholder I will add answer here. In options I will make it yes and no. I also make it required. Now I will save the form and preview the form. Now you can see it will appear like that. Now here is mistake. I have to add there. What is your name? Let's add a dummy name. Now here you have to add an email. And here you have two options. Yes or no. I will select yes and then submit. Now it will give me a confirmation message that thank you for your message. You will get in touch shortly. I will show you how to change this message, but I will go back to editor and edit these things. Here I will add what is your name. And I will change the placeholder to name here. In email, I will add what is your email. And here I will add placeholder your email address. 
Now save the form and preview it. Now it will appear like that. Fill the fields. and you can see this confirmation message now go back to editor now you can use multiple elements like country list numeric field radio field now i will add mobile field keep in mind that this is pro field you can get this mobile field only if you have pro version so i will click on it i will change the label to enter enter your mobile number and here i will add placeholder number here now i will make it required and validate phone number now here you can see the country select you can allow your users from across the world to select their country and name and their country name are for a specific country you can choose your default country i will use united states here you can check your country list you can uh, make it to show all countries or priority based priority based means which country you select it will appear on the top of list only show these or hide these for hide this which country you select it will hide from list and only show these means you can select countries that only shows for example uh, here i will show only united states now only united states will appear Now I will save the form and preview again. Now here I will add dummy name, dummy email. Here I will add my answer. And here you have to add your number. Now when you click on submit, it will give you a confirmation message. Now go back to your editor. I have completed this form now I will design this form So here you can see our design tab I will click on it Now here you can see your design preview and here you can edit it At the top you can see a font message you can change the font to Helvetic or I will select Arial system ui is best for me now here you can change the color of your question i will make it pink press ok for the answer i will make it this one and click ok now when you click on it and type something you can see the button appears now i will change the button color i will make it this one now in button text you can change the button text color i will make it yellow now i will click on okay now you can add background color to this form like that i will make it like that now click okay now you can add a background image i will use this background image and it will appear like that now i will reduce its brightness i will make it 40% now disable scroll to the next now here you can see when you scroll down the next field will appear like that now i will disable branding here you can see the plume form shows its brand i will click on disable and the branding will disappear now click on save settings now i will go to settings and integrations here at the top you can see the form settings here you can see confirmation type i have already selected a same page and here is the message that you will receive when you complete the form you can make it to page and it and select a page which will be redirected or select a custom url here let's suppose i will add the youtube so when my user completes the form it will redirect it to this youtube url now i will save the settings now go to email notification 
here you can enable that disable in email notification i will enable it i will go back to home setting and scroll down here you can see the layout you can change the label from top to left or right help message position error message position now in schedule and restrictions you can maximum number entries and here you can change the entry per day here also you can schedule them for a specific day or a specific time and here you can type your form waiting message and expired message i will disable it and here you can see login requirement settings i will enable it and now only the login user can send this form which means only those users who have subscribed you can only send this form but i will disable for now just i will go back and save the settings here you can see the custom css and javascript which here you can add custom css and javascript to style your form now i will go to entries here you can find the entries that everybody enters your form here i you can see i have added some dummy entries and it will appear here you can show click on this button to see all the details or go back to entries click on this delete button to delete this entry you can also click on advanced filter to see when it appears or select range of date now i will hide it and you can delete them now go back to your editor i have completed this form now i will click on save form and preview it now you can see it will appear like that here i will add a dummy text press enter now i will add a dummy email now i will add my answer press okay and here i will add my dummy number now i will click on submit and it will redirect me to youtube i have added the redirecting url now i will go back to editor i will go to design and here i will remove the background image now i will go to integration and here i will select same page and this message now i will save settings go back to design here i have and save the settings now i will delete it image again and save the settings now i will preview the form again now it will appear like that now i will add this form into a page for this i will go back to editor i will go to all forms and here you can see you have this chart code i will copy this code the copy to clipboard now i will hover over pages and add a new page now here i will add page title and here i will paste the code now publish the page and now click on view page now here you can see the form appear like that you can design this form as per your requirements or as your website design i have created just to show you but you can design it as per your choices that's it for today hope you learned something new in this tutorial if so please like share and subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notification about future updates where i will give you more updates about wordpress and show you how to create forms using different form builders thanks for watching